Hello. Hello, Ambassador Solano. Welcome to your second home, Pura oh. Vida. Pura Vida. Yeah, you know what means Pura Vida? Yes, I do. Great. Pure life. Right. It's a, <laughs> more than that meaning is kind of Costa Rican mindset uh -huh. that uh, represents how we see life. Mm. That you have to enjoy life uh -huh. with responsibility, but most important, you have to share. So we always say to the other people, how are you, Pura Vida? How are your food, Pura Vida? Uh -huh. Because life don't have sense with you don't share. Right. So that's why Pura Vida is uh -huh. our trademark. Uh -huh. Pura Vida. Pura Vida. Welcome again. <laughs> Thank you. Let me explain a little bit about Costa Rica. Uh -huh. let, me, yes, let me be briefly your tour guide, <laughs> if you know yes. me. Uh, Costa Rica has seven provinces, but we are a very multicultural society. Mm -hmm. For example, in uh, Limón is the, in the Caribbean. So we are, have there African black people. Uh -huh. And then we have four uh, cities in the main uh, area of the country. Mm -hmm. San Jose, our uh -huh. capital city. Yes. Cartago, Heredia, Alajuela. Uh -huh. And the coastal in the Pacific, Guanacaste and Punta Arenas. This friend is from a very famous cartoon artist. Oh, so he uh -huh. tried to catch uh -huh. one of the most representative elements of, oh, each, of each city. Behind you, I think, is one of the best examples of the friendship between oh, Korea and Costa Rica. Uh -huh. We have a strong relations in terms of national parks. This is the National Park Volcan Arenal in Costa Rica. Oh. It's famous for the beauty. And of course, this is the national park in the Lake Yusanji in uh -huh. Korea. Uh -huh. That is a Ramsar oh, wetland. So I uh, always I want to show to the people to visit the Embassy of Costa Rica in Korea, uh -huh. the party, the bridge. Oh. between Korea and Costa Rica oh, is natural. Oh, I nature. see. Uh -huh. It's beautiful. Hope you have the chance to enjoy by yourself soon. Yes, I feel like now I'm in Costa Rica. I can't <laughs> stand the passport right now. <laughs> Wow, I've never known that you have a place like this. Yeah, this is more space in the building that the embassy sometimes uses, uh -huh. but at the same time help us, you know, to, to refresh our views. I will try to explain you wow. uh, about uh, some of the aspects uh, Costa Ricans uh -huh. are well known in the world, our coffee. Yes. Well, as you know, coffee for Costa Ricans is part of our culture, uh -huh. but coffee is not only a drink, it's for mm. us also part of our national identity. Oh, so let me try to make for you some fresh coffee. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> coffee from Costa Rica uh -huh. is one of the best coffees worldwide. Uh -huh. We have in Costa Rica eight regions. Oh. The regions depends on the altitude of the mountains we mm. produce coffee. Mm -hmm. Usually under 1,000 meters uh, the sea level, the coffee is uh, not really a smelly fruit and mm. don't have too much acid. Mm -hmm. Over 1,200 meters uh -huh. because the volcano oh. that made the coffee a little bit more acid. Oh, I and see. we have here, oh. for example, examples of the eight regions. Uh -huh. Now we are trying Tarasu coffee, Tarasu. one of the <laughs> most well known in Korea uh -huh. because sometimes Koreans mix Tarasu with Korean word. Tarajuta. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh -huh. that's why Koreans know very well Tarasu <laughs> that belongs from this uh, cup. 80% of the coffee produced in Costa Rica belongs to social economy. Oh. Means that families yes. together yes. are the uh -huh. owners of the company oh, who I produce see. and uh -huh. export. Uh -huh. So for example, when you drink coffee from Tarasu, uh -huh. there are 2,500 families wow. working uh -huh. behind that cup of coffee oh. you are drinking here. I see. So how I amazing see. is yes, uh, it enjoying is. coffee? Uh -huh. It is. We call this bandola. Uh -huh. Is uh, how we, Costa Ricans make coffee. Mm, I love the sound. And the uh -huh. smell. Oh, yes. Oh, I can smell the coffee. You know, <sighs> in Costa Rica, families have coffee every afternoon around 4 or 5 p.m. Oh, I see. It's the moment we share what we did in the day. Uh -huh. For you, your family, and the people from Arirang. Oh, thank Enjoy you. Enjoy coffee. Thank you. Pura Vida. Pura Vida. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love it. Great. This is so Great. good.
Ambassador, thank you so much for all the preparation and also your great introduction as well. Shall we move on and continue our conversation? Please, <laughs> I follow you. Yes. Um, Ambassador, actually, I know that you have some special connection to Korea even before you were appointed as the Costa Rican ambassador to Korea. What are they? Life gave me four great moments to mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. this uh, relation with Korea. I mm -hmm. came here in Korea first time in 1998 uh -huh. as a student. As a student? Right. Uh -huh. uh, I was uh, in Suwon at uh, Kyunghee University. Oh, uh -huh. And I came back again in 2000. Mm -hmm. I had the opportunity to be witness of uh, one of the most important inter-Korean summits in that time mm -hmm. between former President Kim Dae-jung mm -hmm. and the former leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-il. Mm -hmm. And then I came back for the World Cup in 2002. Uh -huh. The Red Devils and of course Costa Rica came to Korea mm -hmm. and we did, I think, a very good uh, performance. And uh, I came back now as an ambassador. So. Probably in my first life, <laughs> I have some Korean connections that uh, made me so happy. Uh -huh, uh -huh, I see. Costa Rica is called um, the Switzerland of Latin America because it's an advocate for peace. And in 1948, actually, the country abolished its military. And I heard that it was one of the first countries in Latin America as well. Could you tell us more about this, please? We decided to abolish uh, the army. My grandfather and father generations took the decisions mm -hmm. that changed our national identity. Mm -hmm. No half army gave us the chance to invest the budget in the well-being of the people, in education, mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. health care in social assistance. So that's why today Costa Rica can enjoy, uh, according with the international say, criteria, one of the most highest uh, human uh, development index. And we understand mm. and respect countries mm -hmm. that for specific situations need some level of defense. But we are very proud in Costa Rica to say that we have more teachers than policemen. Mm -hmm. And this is not only just a philosophical uh, uh, idea, it's about thinking that we can have in the world less money in army and more money in education and more money in health and more money in housing for poor people. Mm -hmm. But in reality, if there is no army, then um, how are you preparing for the case of war breakout? We believe in the multilateral system, in the international law. Mm -hmm. And we had recent cases even take too long and sometimes too much money, but we preferred first dialogue, mm -hmm. talk, try to uh, have a very good solution, not conflicts. Mm -hmm. The definition of a problem, of a conflict, is something that has solution. And mm -hmm. if we have that in mm -hmm. mind, mm -hmm. I think everything is possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, as a country that advocates for peace, um, what do you think about the situation that is currently going on the Korean Peninsula? Costa Rica and Korea share the same universal values, democracy, human rights, peace. And in that uh, sense, we support all the efforts that current administrations are uh, doing since the Berlin declarations of President Moon Jae-in. And of course, we are so happy to see that in one year, in the peninsula of Korea, we really did a lot of changes. This is a very good example when there are illusion and passion, you can have also solutions. Mm -hmm. I see. I know the Costa Rican First Lady um, visited Korea yeah. last year, and I heard that she showed particular interest in traffic infrastructure. For Costa Rican people, gender is a very important issue. And mm -hmm. the First Lady in Costa Rica play a very different role than traditional First Lady. Oh. Usually First Ladies in Costa Rica acting as a project manager Mm -hmm. in different specific areas of the interest. Oh. In this mm -hmm. case, our mm -hmm. current uh, first lady that uh, took office with her husband uh, one year ago, she's architect and she's expert in urban mobility. Mm -hmm. She visited here and she ha was keynote speaker at a summit organized by the Green Climate Fund in Sondo. And she is uh, trying to promote a very important project in Costa Rica that is an uh, electric train. 
We said electric train, but uh, this is not just simple electric train. This is an uh, electric train that in the map of the road of the, of, of the train, it touching 14 different cities. And those 14 dif uh, different cities will be uh, smart cities. So the train by the train is, let's say, like a simple project. But we see the train like energizer mm -hmm. of the uh, uh, process of uh, smart cities in those uh, mm. in those uh, communities. Mm -hmm. So that's why she is very keen in this project, mm -hmm. mostly because 100% of our, of our energy is renewable. So uh, it's not the same half. Electric train with renewable energy, that electric train taking electricity from, no, from fossil fuels. Mm -hmm. So I think this also kind of model that we can reply in different cities worldwide. Mm, I see. You just briefly mentioned in your answer, but we cannot forget about renewable energy mm. when we're talking about Costa Rica. Um, at the seventh World Government Summit that was held in Dubai this year, the Costa Rican government announced that uh, it will be achieve zero carbon emissions by the year of 2021. Is it possible? First, let me tell you that in 2021, Costa Rica is going to celebrate 200 years of independence life. Mm. It's a very big mm -hmm. date for yes, Costa Ricans. Mm -hmm. We are now thinking, Costa Rica, what can we do for my son and my grandson? Mm -hmm. So we took the decision to be the first carbon neutral economy in the region. And we launched uh, last, uh, in the beginning of this year, the National Decarbonization Plan. The gap Mm -hmm. to achieve this goal is precisely transportation. So mm -hmm. that's why we are pushing too much this project of the electric train. Mm -hmm. If we do that, we mm -hmm. can achieve this goal. Mm -hmm. Right now, our electric matrix is 100% renewable. Also, recently, we started a new international project in hydrogen and fuel cells economy initiative mm -hmm. in the frame of the international uh, hydrogen uh, and fuel cells economy uh, program. Mm -hmm. Costa Rica is the only Latin American country and with Korea we are working also in that uh, in, in that way. Oh, wow, many projects are on the way. Many mm -hmm. projects because mm -hmm. energy uh, is the key of the human development of the future. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, Ambassador, I've heard that you are particularly interested in economic cooperation between the two countries. What kind of um, efforts have you been made to promote the economic um, bilateral relationship between the two countries? We are so satisfied that we signed an FTA. Uh, already Costa Rica approved the FTA. We are just waiting the Korean National Assembly approved the FTA. Mm -hmm. That is a modern FTA, it's not only about tariffs. We include chapters regarding with innovation, small and medium enterprises, startups, and technical cooperation. We are so happy that once this FTA is going to be enforced, of course, the trade and investment between our two countries are going to be more high. Mm. And uh, we are promoting hard different export products uh, to Korea. You know, the first uh, export products to Korea from Costa Rica is electronics, medical devices, and high technical services. Mm -hmm. Even, of course, we export agricultural products like coffee, pineapples, and uh, bananas, but, very, but with very high add value. I'm talking about organic pineapple, organic mm -hmm. coffee, mm -hmm. organic uh, uh, bananas, mm -hmm. and all those uh, agricultural products are produced with renewable energy. And when a Korean consumer buy a product coming from Costa Rica, they have to know that they are buying a product that respect the environmental laws and the social laws. So this is very important for us. And in this frame, we are so happy to know that our trade and investment is going growing every year very fast. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. Uh, besides economic fields, in what fields are you expecting synergy to take place between the two countries? We started a platform of create R&D strategy with Korea. Uh, today, we just have three R&D projects going on in Costa Rica with Korea. One is in uh, biotechnology. The second one is in design of LCD uh, screens. Mm -hmm. uh, and the third one is in pharmaceutical. And I am totally sure that by the end of this year, we are going to finish all the talks to uh, start the R&D uh, project in hydrogen and fuel cell center. And probably for the next year in how we can obtain energy from the 
waves of the ocean. Having these five centers in Costa Rica is going to promote not only the relation with Korea and Costa Rica, also sharing our experience to another countries. That is something that Korea and Costa Rica have always in mind. Right, I see. Um, Ambassador, I know that you've done a lot um, to promote the relations between Korea and Costa Rica. And actually, I know that you're returning to your home country after finishing your term as a Costa Rican ambassador to Korea. Um, so our team actually follows you around in a routine day. So let's take a look. Let's see. Ambassador Solano is on his way to work. It's the same route he's taken since he took the post of Costa Rican ambassador to South Korea five years ago. With the end of his term just around the corner, the routine is somehow more special now. Good morning. Buenos días. ¿Alguna novedad? papeles para revisar? Ambassador Solano had a long history with Korea, even before he took his post, having seen all the country's ups and downs since he first visited in 1998. Uh, this picture was in 2001. 2001, 2002. I, I had heard of And this picture is with former President Nomu Hyung in 2007. He still has a lot to take care of before his term as ambassador is over, and he wraps up his time in Korea. In Costa Rica, we have a new government took office one year ago, so we are under planning a lot of new issues regarding with our relation with Korea. Before I finish my duties here, I need to be sure that all the ingredients are in the table just for the last cooking. Ambassador Solano has formed a strong bond with the people at the embassy, handling many important events together. We believe in team family way of work. They are really, really people that support my work uh, 24 hours. And when I say 24 hours, it's true. If there's any other word in the dictionary I can use, I will use. But there's only one word I said, thank you. When I'm leaving, I keep, I, I'm going to keep this cup here so they can remember me. Uh, so like a ghost. <laughs> are you sure you're going to show this on TV? <laughs> people are going to have a nightmare. Uh, The same afternoon, something special was in store for Ambassador Solano. The ambassador has been at the forefront of promoting bilateral cooperation between local Korean governments and Costa Rica, and he's made huge efforts to boost socio-economic collaboration. Today, he's awarded a plaque of appreciation for all his hard work to promote economic cooperation between Korea and Costa Rica. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Oh, beautiful. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I received the recognition of no on behalf of myself. I received that on behalf of 4.8 million Costa Ricans. Let's see, it's not an award, it's just gasoline to keep working more hard. Despite having so much to do, Ambassador Solano doesn't forget to stop and take a break once in a while. One place he's enjoyed while living in Korea is Seoullo. Every day I try to walk even from my office to my house. And uh, this specific place is uh, kind of a little bit meaningful for me. For Costa Ricans, green color is very important. So I found this green space very near my office. And at the same time, I know very well the history behind this place. When you walk from Seoul Station to my office in Myeongdong, at the same time it's kind of traveling through the history of Korea. Today, with his team from the embassy and his friend from Costa Rica, he went out for a special meal, one of his favorite Korean foods, dakboki. Ambassador Solano treats the people at the embassy like family, 
and he takes good care of the Costa Ricans living in Korea. Uh, usually, you know, the embassy is like the place for all Costa Ricans to gather. I think that's something different from other embassies, right? Our embassy here is like... It's more friendly, we have more access and we can talk more and the ambassador is always like making these activities. So for Costa Ricans here is like actually home. Right? I, I went to Topoki town and they give you a yeah. And I forgot to give back. <laughs> what was that day? I came home with this. <laughs> Ambassador Solano wraps up his term as the Costa Rican ambassador to South Korea to go back to his home country. Even though someone else will replace him in his job, he won't be forgotten. In my case, uh, I had a mysterious romance with Korea. It started a long time ago. So I prefer to think very firm that I'm not saying goodbye. I'm just saying, see you again. I think you would have many memories during your stay here in Korea. And also, you must have mixed feelings now yeah. as your leaving time is just coming up. How are you feeling now? Korea has a very important characteristic from my point of view, that is the meaning of the word chingu. When you have in Korea a friend, uh, you create, uh, I don't know if there is a specific translation into English or Spanish. You call this chong. Chong. It's, mm -hmm. Right. It's, it's, I, I call it like glue. It's difficult to, 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 right. to explain that because right. it's a feeling. doesn't matter where you are. You know that your friend is there if you need him. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think I was kind of success creating this atmosphere with some Koreans. So I am a little bit sad because I'm not going to have the opportunity to enjoy some drinking <laughs> sessions with them. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm totally sure that they are any moment there if I need something. And they know that I'm going there in Costa Rica if they need me for something. Memories are just memories if you don't put that memories in your present life. And those memories are going to be with me every day. Mm, it's very touching. Uh, what was your most memorable moment in Korea? I have a lot. I have a lot, but um, in 2004, I was here working in the embassy as minister consular, and we started a project to create a Costa Rican plaza. And we did, oh. located in Mapo. The, now we have a dream to renovate the plaza, looking for the 60th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations and the 200 years of our independence. In our uh, files, uh, we found that there's no other plaza for another country like us in, in Korea. So this is a small space of Costa Rica in the heart of Seoul. Mm, uh, with a right. lot of green and uh, I invite Koreans to visit the Costa Rican plaza. And walking there is a small plaza because Costa Rica is a small in size, but big in dreams. Mm. So when a Korean want to have a, some dream, I invite them to visit our plaza in, 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 in Digital City Station. Mm -hmm, I exit, see. Exit two. <laughs> I see. Um, ambassador, could you say a few words to the next ambassador who will succeed your post here? I didn't know him or her, mm -hmm. but uh, the next ambassador of Costa Rica to Korea, I'm totally sure is going to be so happy to work here. I said recently that be a diplomat is a privilege, but be a diplomat in Korea is a, an opportunity, a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. So this is my message for my successor. Mm -hmm. You're coming to Korea to have a great opportunity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, thank you so much for your time today. Well, thank you, you for having me and it's a great pleasure to share this moment with uh, the viewers of your program. Uh -huh. I'm sure you will continue to do great things for Costa Rica diplomacy or wherever you are at. And I wait you and your team to visit Costa Rica. It's going to be my turn to receive you there. Uh -huh. Pura vida. Pura vida. <laughs>